I wear bandanas uh, during workout, mostly because it keeps the sweat out of my face and makes my, keeps my glasses from falling down, because I hate that. I started wearing a bandana a few years ago because the sweat would run down so much my glasses fell on my face. One time my glasses fell off my face into the trash can, and I was panicking, because without my glasses, I'm blind. I mean, like right now, I know I have a camera and phone in front of me, but I can't see past it much i mean it's blurry so i'm next to blind but um i found out something today about bandanas don't know if it's true but it's definitely it's funny um that white bandana is not as absorbent as this one the camouflage because i'm drenched um workout really having sweating today and i was dripping sweat in my face and all this i don't know if it's the color so much as as this is a brand new banana, that's the first time this was used, and it's that's why it's less absorbent because it's it's new, it's still kind of slick ish, not total, not it's not like it's co co cotton blend, so it's not slick like some things, but it's slick ish. Um, and the that camouflage banana I've worn, I need to go wash it, I've worn it for like five or six workouts I leave in the car um so it's that's why it's more absorbent because it's it's you it's used it's a uh, looser um okay we're talking about bananas is kind of silly but I also I also want to talk about water how important it is to drink water and not just when you're working out I mean it's really important when working out because I'm sweating I'm gonna have to drink twice as much water to make up for that sweat because your body is 60% water. I mean, there's water in your blood, your water. I don't know how it's in your bones, but it's it's in your bones. There's H2O. It's not in the same form as water, but water in your blood, water in your, in your organs, and all over the place. There's water in your body, so it's important to drink, um, but not just for working out. Because on Sunday, I don't do a workout on Sunday. Um, I figured out that I wasn't drinking enough water. And I had this, this, it's like pre-dehydration. It wasn't, it wasn't like I was even close to being dehydrated, but I was getting really dizzy. And it's not just the water, but not drinking enough water has something to do with that. Because there's water, like, surrounding your brain and your and your nerves and stuff and when you don't have water they weird fire thing I don't know it's it's scientific I can't say it, but exactly not just water though it, it's also sleep well when you're sleep deprived you start getting dizzy and loopy and and running this stuff and see is water and sleep contributed to that um those are the, the four pillars of, I used to just say physical fitness, but it's just the four pillars of getting better, of goodness, of your body, uh, that you need in your body. You got food, water, sleep, and activity. You need all four of them to grow, for to grow at all. Um, and I'm I'm thinking in the fitness realm. That's specifically where I'm focused. Of course, food is fuel. You eat food, it gives you calories. You need a certain caloric intake. If you eat crappy food, you eat a lot of snacks and treats. It tastes good. I mean, granted. But they don't give you the stuff that your body needs to run. You know, that's why it's converted into fat so easily. And I'm not saying cut it out. Some people cut it out completely. I, I I still eat sweets. I just you gotta limit it a lot. You can't you can't eat a lot of sweets because it's it's not good for you. It's not it's food's supposed to be fuel. It's not just feeding your emotions and that's emotional eating. You're eating it because it tastes good. It gives you good feeling. So you've got to limit that because it's you remind yourself that it's fuel and water. I mentioned water. You need water. You need sleep. You mentioned that. Physical fitness, you need that. Um, some people are like, I'm not a marathoner, I don't need to do it. Well, you need to do something. Um, 
jog, ride bikes, uh, but get off the couch. Um, a lot of people just, they don't do anything. They're very sedentary, sedid, sedentary, sedid, sedentary, I think. You gotta get up and do stuff. Uh, walk. Walking is a, that's a good, good foundational first step. It sounds silly, but it's good. Foundational, I guess I could talk about some of that stuff, but I'm not going to get into foundations right now. I got building blocks of stuff. I need, I need a shave. I can, I can see it on the camera. I'm rambling now. Yeah. Being in water. 